Hello, fishes. How's it going? Hope everybody's doing good today. I am freezing my level stuff right now. Don't got any, but if I did, they'd be frozen off because, oh, it's cold over here in Hawaii. <laughs> what a complaint. <laughs> Anyways, I'm using Manny Boss, um, Ice Capades, Snow Angel, and Chill Out. And I'm speeding through a little bit of... A little bit of everything in this video because it was quite long at the end of it but I am going to be focusing on the nail art part of this video so I'm going to be doing a couple of different things and yeah so first things first I'm fighting with striping tape and <laughs> oh it was a pain in the butt but anywho I am putting that kind of directly in the center of my nail downwards on my index finger so in my mind I wanted to do an ombre nail but with a negative space and then once I got my colors out and everything my mind was like well wait let's try something different now, I am not going to take credit for this idea because I don't know if anybody else has done this or not. I haven't seen it though, but I am by no means going to say that I'm the first person to have ever done this. So, for this part, I'm using these slow drying, slow, slow drying, low scent liquid uh, base coat from Sparkle & Co. for this finger. And I'm going to do, I'm going to use... Um, chill out and snow angel for the ombre and I'm gonna do it going one way on one side of the nail and then going the opposite way on the other side of the nail so I'm using chill out here I'm gonna sprinkle it on the cuticle area downwards on my nail and then I'm gonna dip into snow angel and I'm gonna go from the free edge to the center of the nail and then on the other side, I'm going to flip the colors. I'm going to do Snow Angel at the cuticle and chill out at the free edge. And I'm going to do um, three layers on each side of the nail. So three layers of ombre. Just because when it comes to my go-to dip application is two dips of color and then a clear dip but for ombres i almost well no always i always um i don't think i've ever done an ombre with just two layers i always do three sometimes even four if i don't feel like the ombre is as smooth as it could be but my go-to for ombres is three layers just because it helps soften that transition in the middle. So again, on the other side of my nail, on the right side of my finger, I am doing Snow Angel at the cuticle and then chill out at the free edge. And again, I'm going to do that process Um same pattern um three times so this was one time i'm going to do it two more times and i'll talk about my other nails here in a second so on my thumb i have ice capades and i have ice capades also on my ring finger and then i have chill out on my middle finger and snow angel on my pinky now, on my ring finger, we're going to be doing some other kind of nail art on that one at the end of the video. So, for my um, ring finger, I did still put two dips of ice capade on it. Just because the first dip, though I felt like it could have been fine... I wanted some more flakiness in there and iridescent, so I added another one. Uh, that was really the only reason. <laughs> but, um, any, oop, I am pretty sure 
So this is going to be um, my second layer here on the right side of my finger. And I didn't like alternate colors, if that makes sense for this finger. Um, for no reason other than I just didn't care to. <laughs> if I... I mean, I thought about it, but I was just like, you know, I'm going to end with the same color that I, or I'm going to start on the other side of the nail with the same color that I ended on the other side of the nail. So I'll just, that way I don't have to keep cleaning off my brush. And it was literally me just being lazy. That's why I didn't do it. But it came out fine. I was actually re really happy with the way it came out. Came came out what guys it's 10 o'clock at night doing voiceovers anyways this is like in my head I felt like I kind of wanted to do like a frozen unicorn nail situation like still wintry and icy and cold like vibe but not necessarily, oh, this is Christmas, or oh, this is New Year's, or oh, this is whatever, you know? Like, kind of just getting out of the holiday vibe and going into just wintry vibe. Because, I mean, let's face it, not everybody is a holiday freak. But I am. Anyways, so I removed that tape and I'm using my cuticle um, cleaner upper tool and I am just sliding it down that center and making those edges as clean as I can. And I really hope those were fireworks and not gunshots. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Um, yeah, and now I am going to, I'm going to skip through the clear cap on this, but I do want to mention this part right here coming up. Um, what I did was I took a little bit of... So, of course, I'm using my scrubby brush. I took a little bit of base on my cuticle tool and I slid it right down the center of that nail. And, of course, I'm off camera, but I still wanted to tell you what I did. And I'm going to dip it in clear. That way it fills in that space. Because since we didn't dip there and it's just tape, it's going to be... It just, it was blank. So it was like a huge gap in the nail and I wanted to fill it in. You could use gel to do it, but I just used dip powder to see if it would work really. And it worked out fine. So that's what I did. And now I'm going to clear cap all of my nails or not clear cap. What? I'm going to top coat. <laughs> I'm going to top coat all of my nails and I am including the ring finger and then the nail art for the ring finger as I kind of mentioned and maybe some of y'all caught on is going to be a unicorn horn. And this is my first time trying this and I felt like it didn't come out perfect but I was actually really happy with the way it came out for my first try. It, um, I, I felt like I could have, maybe should have used some different chrome color, maybe, because I felt like the chromeness, like, just blended in too much, but I'll show you, I'll show you, you'll see that in a moment. Anywho, um, what I'm going to use, though, is, again, the Manny Boss um, two-in-one gel 
base and top coat. That's my favorite one to use. My favorite gel ever. I'm just getting it on my little nail art brush and I'm making them chunky. I don't want it to be super thin and flat to the nail. I want it to be textured so that you can see that there's ripples in the nail and see the texture so that way when we chrome it and everything it looks like it's spiraling and like there is like it's a horn a unicorn horn so what i'm doing is creating like small backwards s like shapes on the nail like i'm starting and then i'm going to go down across and then down again and i'm going to um do that a few different times and if you feel like you need to you can flash cure just like a few seconds in between because the more you flash cure each line then the first one that you did of course is going to cure in your chrome more than likely won't stick to it so try to avoid curing if you can but yeah um i'm just doing that all the way up the nail and once i get um to the top of the nail all I'm going to be doing is when I get to the very, very, very top of the nail, what I'm going to do is um, create a line kind of going in the opposite direction of all of the other ones, which will be here in just a second. But yes, all I am doing is just getting, I'm loading my brush up really with product and then just starting and dragging just start and drag and it did take me a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and speed up here because um i'm doing this with my left hand so that could also be a very good reason as to why it didn't come out as good as i thought it could have but i'm still not mad at it i was pretty happy with it and so here is you see I'm still trying to do those S's and then right here is where I'm going to do a little like because you can't really do another S shape in there so you just got to try and fill in that little hole so there's not a gap and so I'm using chill out to chrome chill out is the blue that's on my middle finger and it's the one that I did the ombre with and that's what I'm using to chrome it is the dip powder but it still chromes and is very, very beautiful. However, like I said, I felt like it was just maybe too close to the color of Ice Capades that you just couldn't see a big difference, but um, you can see a little bit of chromeness going on in there. So then I finished curing, I cured for 15 seconds after the gel chromed, then I finished curing it for another minute. Now. I'm going to top coat it. Now, when you top coat a unicorn horn nail, you want to go in the direction of the nail art because if you go straight up and down the nail, you're going to fill in those ridges that you spent all that time creating to get the texture. So, if you don't want the texture, then sure, do that, but spend all that hard work for nothing but if you want to make sure to keep the texture go in the direction of the lines that way you get the top coat on the lines in between the lines but not filling in the lines if that makes sense so this is the nails guys um uh, my next video will be nail extensions i'm going to show you how i applied my uh full coverage tips but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am in love with this Manny. I love the way my index finger came out. I could not be more happy with the way that that ombre and reverse ombre situation looked. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. Catch you in the next one. Love ya. Bye, bitches.